Hello everyone, I hope that you are all doing well. So I'm here and you see this is the pharmacy, my wife is uh, shopping a little bit. Um, if, you, if you go on my other channel then you will know because I shared a lot more. Uh, as we go back to China, every time we buy some, some, some product from here. You know. uh, but today I want to uh, tell you a little bit huh, about uh, people in France huh, because um, quite often, quite often, I got um, <laughs> I, I got uh, people who, uh, who tell me, huh, oh, uh, look in France, huh, uh, there is not one white guy left, you know, white guy, or, uh, you don't find them anymore, you know, and some people they were telling me, find the European, you know, and it's true, huh, if you are here, especially in Paris, here it's La Défense, okay, uh, you look around and yeah it's true you know you, maybe you have 20 percent white people even in the white district in the white suburb you know all right Paula, Paula. if you have a kid you know what i'm talking about There are many things, it's a very complex subject and a very sensitive subject, you know. There are many things to understand. One, 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 one thing is, um, it's, not about, it's not about race, you know, it's about belief. What type of belief do you have? What type of belief you have for the society, you know? Not so much about uh, uh, what's, uh, what's, your, what's your skin color, what's your DNA, what's your race, you know? People don't believe, don't believe in this anymore. There are many countries where people believe in this. They say, oh, okay, uh, uh, Asian people, maybe they believe in it. Many people, so you, in Europe, we used to believe in this, you know? We used to believe in this, but not anymore, you know, not anymore. So uh, it's, about, it's about culture, you know? It's about, it's about belief, and belief is culture. What is your culture, you know? What do you believe in? Uh, what are your values, you know? So the culture, it can be the languages, it will be the languages, it will be the religion, it will be the way you think. The way you think. So I, I just have, sorry guys, I just have to go with my kid to the toilet. And uh, of course, you know, uh, the debate is always a debate of value, you know, what you believe in. And, and, and it's, not about, it's not about the DNA, it's not about the race, and that, that's how it used to be, you know. That's, that's how it used to be and that's not how it is anymore. Uh, but the issue huh, that uh, people have is what are the values? Oh, my kid always wants the toy. What are the values that people believe in, you know? And you need to have um, a unity and that's, that's kind of difficult, you know? You cannot tell to people where does uh, your individual freedom start and where does it stop, you know? And that's the debate that we have, you know? Then you have the conflict of identity. You have someone who comes with his own identity, his own culture, uh, like me. Huh? Uh, I spent uh, maybe 12 years in China. And you know, when you are in China as a foreigner, you, you will always be a foreigner. The, the society doesn't want you. You will never be a Chinese national. You will never get the long-term visa. You will ne never be allowed to stay there for long term. And then uh, regarding the culture, you can understand everything, but you will never be able to accept it fully. Never, never, you know. Even someone who, who stay there 30 years, you understand all of it, huh? uh, the language, the culture, everything, but you can never accept it fully. Uh, so it's very complex, you know. Uh, here is different, and I think only the second generation is able to, uh, to accept. Like someone like my kid, you know, if he's raised in China, if he raised raised in France, he will be French. You know, it's just uh, how it is. Huh? Um, and then there is another thing, huh? then you have all the political issues, you know, and uh, this has to do with the, with the country, what the country wants, following their own interest, you know. For a long time it was uh, people who wanted to have a big country, the more people equal, the biggest army, the strongest army, then it became like the more people 
the, the more consumer, the more workers, the cheaper the salary, you know, that's what it is, you know. So, um, for a long time it was this, you know. And today, uh, that's also, that's also, uh, you know, we shouldn't fool ourselves, huh? it's always about money. So, uh, money, money rules. And it's on money and the election, you know. So money means uh, you can have cheaper workers, they come here. Huh? You can have foreign investors, they come here. And that's how it is, that's how it is. Uh, but then in the longer run, you have to calculate, you have to see uh, in the longer run what, wha what will happen in the longer run. Are you going to lose the unity of the country? How is going to happen, you know? How things are going to evolve? Then there was also a way of uh, be believing that mixed, you know, mixed, mixed is the higher rate, you know, so there was this kind of belief, huh? this was this kind of brainwashing that, uh, oh, someone who is mixed is uh, more clever, more this, more that, which is, of course, a lot of nonsense, you know, these people are all the same, huh? <laughs> you have, uh, uh, it's up to us to get the knowledge or to get the education, it's up to us to work, it's up to us to think, you know, uh, there's no one who is different, you know, we have our own abilities, of course, but you, you, it's extendable, okay? Maybe you will never be uh, uh, the number one, but you will be the number 10 or the number 20. You will be, you will be among the 10%. Huh? You can be among this. You can reach, you can be whoever you want, you know? Um, yeah, so that's, that's what I want to tell you today. Huh? Let me leave you for now. Huh? A bientôt, les amis. A bientôt.